Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Car Ray. And I'm Mike. And this is episode 10 of Jeez, 10th Talk About It. Hashtag. Hashtag Talk About It. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, we flopped already on the 10th anniversary. Yeah. Oh my god, but yeah, let's 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 get into it. Yeah, excuse 10th anniversary, us. we're here. Double digits. Yeah, boy, we're yeah. here. We're a little high. Nigga, we made it. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> Alright, what's what's the first topic? What do you want um, to get into first? Well, firstly, like it's obviously it's Tuesday the 16th of February right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and the latest thing going on, obviously, Kanye West released his album on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Out of nowhere, really, out of the blue. Um, he was supposed to release it on Friday, right? He was supposed to release or it on Thursday. Friday. Yeah, Friday. Okay. No, Thursday. Thursday, because that's the na- that's the day I went um. To watch the stream as well. So did you hear the whole album already? No, nah, he only played like I think ten of the songs or nine of the songs. Okay, okay, okay. Like, okay. But that was the album of the time. Remember, you yeah, yeah. yeah. The track and now list. there's like eighteen there's songs. 18 like songs. I was very yeah, surprised yeah. by that because I I remember seeing the track list and I thought there was going to be nine songs. And then I actually got the the album and then I saw how many songs there were and I was like, that's a bit a bit mad still. But yeah, the life of Pablo. Yeah. Firstly, the title. What do you think of that title? Is that his dad's name or something? <laughs> I don't think so, though. No. Do you know what his dad's name is? No, I should Google that, you know. Yeah, Google it. Because I think I've, there were so m- many references no, I, to, like, it's, his it's, father it's or something. I think I don't think it's Pablo Escobar. There's no way he what can... be references to his father? I think he talked about his father or something in a couple songs. He's and talking about Godfrey when he says father. Oh. <laughs> maybe he's not actually... No, no, but I think he actually talked about his dad. I think he said something about his dad. Probably. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, about his dad. but I thought that Pablo might be a reference to his dad's name. I don't think he's talking about Pablo Ray Escobar. West. Okay, so his dad is not called Pablo. Um, really? There must be some other famous Pablo that he's talking about. No, why? I think he's, why talking the hell? About, he's talking about. I, he's talking about Pablo Escobar. Really? So yeah, he, that's he, one he of was them. he was caught up off the yeah, narcos, yeah. and it was like you know what? Pablo Picasso. Okay, yeah, and I, I think I heard that as well. There's another. There's a third Pablo as well. That's why I feel like he put on the cover. Which one? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's yeah, that's why I thought he said which one as well. But still, I I don't know which one he's actually referring to. I I don't he, how can he be talking about Pablo Escobar? That, he doesn't he doesn't sell drugs or anything. It, but I feel yeah, like Pablo and He's I'm, just doing whatever. Like he's gassed, man. He's gassed. But yeah. He's Kanye West. But yeah, the life of Pablo, um, yeah, when I first got it, I um I woke up and then I s I was on Twitter, just casually on Twitter. <laughs> Like, like this always happens as well with Kanye. But like, I was casually on Twitter, and then I saw the Kim Kardashian tweet. Like, it happened yeah. like, in front of my eyes, fam. Like, it was like only a minute or two minutes. Okay. And then it said like, I've, I've life. subscribed to Tidal. Um, listen to Kanye West's album here, and then there was the link, and I was like, oh my days. Like, so obviously I went onto Tidal and I listened to it. Um, I need to cancel that subscription. <laughs> but yeah, I listened to it, and then, I, where do you, where did you, um, where are you paying it from? Are you paying it from your bank account? Yeah. You should you should use PayPal. Was PayPal an option? I'm not sure. Because if you use PayPal, yeah, then you can actually cancel your, your payment to them without actually cancelling your subscription. So as soon as you do it, you can cancel your payment to them so they never get any money. And then after they don't get the money, they'll be like, okay, we're going to cancel your subscription or whatever. So you don't actually forget about it. Yeah, that's true. Right? But yeah, I, there's, there's some... I'll make a video or something. There's, there's some gems for yeah. you guys out there. <laughs> How to so get if you're shit. getting a free trial or something and you're like, you know what, I'm, I don't want to accidentally be charged, then <laughs> use PayPal and I'll show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, I'm listening to it. Obviously, I'm a Kanye fan, innit? Anyone that knows me knows I'm a huge Kanye fan. Yeah, like, you're a Kanye stan. stan get it like, right. Yeah, I'm a Kanye stan. Like, he's my favourite <laughs> artist, so I'm, I'm a bit biased, I feel, maybe. You're extremely biased. You reckon? Yes. You reckon? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so obviously I listened to it and I, when I first heard it, I was just gassed, didn't it? I was I thought it was great. Like yeah. I'd already heard the live rip. I downloaded the live you rip thought as well. You every know? song was great. Yeah. Okay. Shall we go through the track list? Just go on. just quickly, if you could remember. I don't remember every song and all How that. Many times I listened listen to, to it once. It? Okay. I listened to it once. That's terrible. Um I put it on um the speakers. I think I was I was cutting my hair or whatever. I, and trimming my pubes and all that and like, I was just putting it on while like running the bath in the background and doing that and I was I was listening to it I gave it a good once over um, I think I had to pause it to get in the bath and come back out and then listen to the rest of the two songs um, 
I think it was Faded or Fade, Facts. Yeah, Facts and the, Fade. The new the version of Facts is it's way hard, better way than better, the old one. Yeah, I was like, I was, I was going to message you about yeah, it and yeah. I was like, you know what, we're going to talk about it on the podcast yeah, so I can tell better, you the how it's yeah, 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 yeah. It was way better. But isn't and, that crazy how a song can just be so much better just due to yeah, the he, just used, and experimenting? He's just using that 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 normal flow, that typical flow that works over anything but would have worked better over a trappy beat that gives you all the bass and 808s and all that sort of shit so when he done it over I swear it was like some loop beat or so, some sample or something like that yeah. but that beat was it, good as well though yeah but it wasn't for it wasn't that so when this, he done yeah, when yeah, he yeah. done that on it it just seemed like he was doing this typical Corny, Jumpman yeah. flow on like his old production and it just it didn't really gel well and it just sounded a bit off yeah. and then when because that song put, never got rev- never really got a good reception when it first came nah, out nah, 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 nah. people were just like yeah. and I felt like that as well I was like Kanye like, yes. you're Kanye why are you mm. Yeah. Jumping on a Drake and because he, he's chatting shit, there's no facts in it. Like, I, no, there is facts though. Like, not well, there's really. Not, I don't. Like, they're not. I don't think. I don't think, I don't think Yeezys jump, have man. jumped over jump, man. No, I don't think like it's 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 like I don't think the world is represented um, fairly in that song. I think he's it's his own ego ego mania. Like, there was some facts that in there, made though, fam. Nah, not Kimoji really. Kimoji did break the the, the, the um, app store. Like, I don't know if it did. I don't, nah, I don't know if it made like. like did he say he made a million every made a million minute or something minute, like that? Yeah, and we made a million a minute. We made a million a minute. He has. He has. He yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's factual. He's, but he's, but the thing is, said, when he said it on that old soulful beat, yeah, or whatever, I don't even remember what it sounds like now. But when he said it on that beat, it's more of a, like a true hip hop beat in it. So when you yeah. listen to that, you're, you're expecting like, to hear you, introspective yeah, facts yeah. and whatnot. So when he's chatting all this shit, you're like, why why are you lying, Kanye? But when you hear it over these trap beats where people just chat shit anyways <laughs> and they're just all these rappers are lying and selling like mountains of coke and whatnot like you you accept it more and you accept it for what it is and um yeah the the vibe was just was just great on that so yeah i'll give that to him all right so obviously we've skipped we've skipped sorry that, about that like, yeah we could get back onto the the, the, like the first, first track first track is ultra light beam it's one of my favorites is that it's the just, one with kirk franklin yeah um, i love that tune. and it's who just, else um Chance the rappers on it, and there's a um, there's a singer on it, but I don't know what her name is. And yeah. I think I heard. Did I hear the dream? No, the dream's not on that one. It was a singer. Was I a think I singer. heard the dream on there, though. Was, yeah, I think the dream I, was on that I, one. I as did well. hear the, I've the heard dream's the dream. on the album. Yeah, but I don't think he's credited really. I don't no, think he's, he's credited not. anywhere. But um, but the thing is, you know, like Kanye hasn't really released the track list and, and the description and and all the writing credits yet. Okay. So everyone's kind of just been putting their own features. Up. Like this is like I've got Viperial's version. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> like, after, like on the title version, it doesn't say features in it. So okay. this is just Viperial's version. This is what people okay. are putting as features so he hasn't really fully put out the writing credits yet okay well this what did you think of that song you said you uh, liked yeah, that's, it, it yeah I love that song it's one of my favourites I thought it was alright alright okay. I think I liked the verses and I don't even remember what it sounds like I like I don't, the gospel I, sound to it so when about, I heard that, when I heard the gospel out. sound, I remembered Kanye's tweet when he said this is a gospel, gospel album, album, and I was like, oh no, it's going to be a gospel album. Like, <laughs> it's actually going to be a gospel album. And I think I heard bare references to God and stuff, and I was like, come on, Kanye, man, just leave it at. Let's just, <laughs> just give me some music, no, man. That's don't, what I, I, don't, I felt don't so be so when religious. I heard those testimonies. Nah, man, leave me alone, man. Like, just let me listen to some music. I don't really want to be Bible so bashed happy, right man. about now. And yeah, well, but I felt like I could relate to it because it had those gospel sounds, but then it had that crud, and then he has a song about sex, and I just felt like he just he's just being honest, like this is who he I is. I guess so. I come from this, but I live that life. Yeah. I do enjoy that life, but I do love you, God, as well, and I still do this for you. But then I still do these things, and it just felt honest. I hear what you're and saying. And I relate, you know, I, I kind of related to what he was trying to say. Like the one of the lines was. I'm trying to keep my faith, but yeah, it is the dream because he sang that. He was like, "I'm trying to keep my faith, but I find myself needing more." And you know what I mean, like that. Like, okay. I, I, so I understood what Kanye was trying to say. Yeah, maybe it, it relates. You can relate to it more. But, um, but you was you basically was heard that, and then you remembered that he said, he said that it was going to be gospel. So you thought so that had, a, had a bad album. taste in my mouth already. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, Feels this is going to be dead." I was album. like, "Oh." <laughs> Come on! So I weren't really feeling this track. I don't. I don't even remember what it sounds like. I don't. I don't, didn't really like the chorus. Or, I think oh, um, I'm not even a hundred percent sure. Maybe I did like the chorus, but um, I, I just. To it I just remember I having a bad feeling. Bad this feeling of this track. Once, yeah, man. I'm not gonna be able to give a full review of this this album. You're gonna give a better review that I I can give, but your one's gonna be incredibly Is it even biased. Any point going through all these tracks? 
Let me just go throw out a few. Let me, let me, okay, let me just say one thing. Like, I've got a thought that I had throughout the, the whole of the album. Like, all okay. the features didn't perform how I would have liked them to. Um, the Weeknd's feature was absolutely whack. That was hard. Are no, you it mad? wasn't. That no, song wasn't. is sick. No, no, no. That song no. is great. Aye, fam, that song fam. is great. When I heard you, that, I got listen, gassed. Listen, you are not a Weeknd fan. I'm a Weeknd like, fan. I'm a Weeknd fan. I'm a yeah. Weeknd fan. But not fam. like I am a Weeknd fan. I brought fam. you the Weeknd fan. fam, I really appreciate the Weeknd's music. I think he's great. He's a great artist. And every time, I, every time this year I've heard him on a different feature, it has been amazing. This feature... This feature didn't utilize the weekend's vocal ability at all. It was, it was just, it could have been given to anyone else. I think the weekend was wasted on this. When I saw featuring the weekend, I thought this was going to be a great track, and then it was just an okay track. And the weekend's part was extremely wasted. And I think Post Malone was wasted as well. Oh my days! I think he could have done more. All right, the weekend. I, I think the features were wasted, and they, in general, all, all they done was um, like bolster Kanye. Which is, I guess, what features are supposed to... But I think features are supposed to bring their unique talent to it as well. Like, that's that's what I wanted. I wanted to hear those artists with Kanye, not just... They just but I don't think... Let's seem just, like backup boxes. I don't think Kanye talks... Like, yeah, but that's the thing. I don't think Kanye um, does music like that, as in the sense of, all right, here's a track, here's, here's a space, like, mm. here's 16 or here's 8... Like hey, this this is you do you in it. Yeah. I feel I feel like Kanye's more of an orchestrator. Like he's like saying, I want you to do this. Yeah. If you get what I mean. But I think both that, both of those artists could have done so much better. I think they were wasted. So those were the main two. Um, I don't know who wasted. else I thought was Ty Dollars on the album twice. No, Ty Dollar done great. Um I think that designer guy um, yeah, that new guy. That's everyone's. Oh yeah, everyone's thinking that it was Future when they first heard that. That's Does what he I heard before. But I've already listened to his song before, so I knew it was him. Okay, that's um, what Jason said as well. Yeah, yeah. He had so, already heard that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was I was on SoundCloud just randomly the other day. Yeah. I usually I don't go on SoundCloud yeah. to listen to music like that. Never happens. <laughs> but I've been trying to like embrace music and listen to new stuff and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So I was on like the top um, hundred rap songs or whatever. Is his name Designer was, or Panda? His name's Designer. The song's called Panda. And then oh. Kanye took the song and put it at the end of his song. Yeah. And like mixed it in. Yeah. And it just sounded extremely hard. Um, I lie. But, <laughs> like, when, I, when I listened to the song, when I listened to like the actual song, it was it was all right for a little bit and then it got really, really boring. So Kanye took just the best bit of the yeah, song. Yeah, that's then. what Kanye does. He's, that's what he, he does, yeah. He robs these artists of their, <laughs> no, of their shine. Them, no, no, he robs them, though. No, no, he robs... Because he's trying to sign to good music now. Yeah, but he takes the, like, the great, great things thing that, that they do, done. gives it to himself jumps on it perfects it like, yeah. like what Drake like, does yeah and um, like what he I don't like as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then like sometimes he'll give you opportunity or what, what not but it is, is a great thing all around because he like yeah, he gave his exposure the, yeah, yeah. just like when he brought Fetty Wap out like he's bringing these guys yeah, yeah. to the mainstream like designers gonna have a career now but um well, I don't know. But, um, yeah, when I heard that, I was like, it was all right. Uh, everyone was saying it sounds like Future. I didn't really think it sounded like Future. No, it does, it but does it is Future's well. flow. And I think loads of people do Future's flow, so I don't know why they're getting onto this guy about it. But, um, yeah, it's not that original or anything. And when it when it came in at the end of the track, it sounded good. But when I heard him on the other freestyle, I thought he was dead. Okay. Like, I don't really feel... like He just <coughs> wasn't... He was, he's not that good to me. I don't think he's going to be a good artist. All right, what about the famous song featuring Rihanna? Um, I thought that chorus could have been so much better. Oh, my days. Bruv, I think all the features were underutilised, fam. Do you know how sick Rihanna is? Yeah, Rihanna's sick. I thought that song was sick, though. I feel like the chorus was I great, I feel fam. like there's so, I, so many so songs that It was so that different I, to the verse as well. Like, the verse was like like some hip-hop verse and then the chorus came and then it felt like mainstreamish and it felt like different. I, I can't remember like every single like thing. So you only listen to it once. Oh my yeah, days. yeah. So I, I, can, I can only I remember. You only listen to a Kanye album <laughs> once. I don't, I've had, I don't that have the time, I've had this on repeat since I'm, it came out. I haven't listened to nothing else. I think I was listening to Future and Young Fuck today. Is this what but, Stan um, is like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it comes out, you listen to it better times. That's what I do with Big Sean albums because I think he's sick in it and I like to give it some digestion. I've listened but, to nothing else for at least two, three months now. Is it? You're just going to be listening to Kanye? Yeah. Oh my God, that is, that's really depriving yourself <laughs> of what's going on out there. But um, what was I saying? 
Yeah, I only, I only, I only got song, my buddies. overall feeling. Like I can only remember my overall feeling, and I remember that a lot of the songs that I was checking out, I, I felt like they were going to be so much better than they actually were. When I saw the the features and stuff, and the names of the tra- the naming, you, you the track me. naming is phenomenal. What do you yeah. mean? The way he named all the tracks is great. Like I swear, there's like highlights and then and then low yeah low, low lights, lights and highlights and, yeah. and some some Father shit like that. Hand, yeah, part yeah. One the, and part two. the track naming was very artistic, beautiful yeah. names. Yeah. But um, the actual tracks themselves, I feel like I always felt like it was gonna be better than it actually was. Um, Mad man. But, but no, there obviously were some good songs on there, and I didn't enjoy my song that when he says, um, and I quote. Uh, I think I can still um fuck Taylor. Oh yeah, yeah, because I um, I made that bitch famous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, yeah. What do you I remember the line? tweet he said before he put it out or the, before I heard it. No, um, he had already put out the album. That's why people. No, it was because the live thing. Yeah, because he he done the live. I think um, yeah, that's when he put session, out. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I called Taylor, Taylor up already. So yeah. so when I heard it, I went but like, Taylor's people are denying that still. Is it? But Taylor had no clue, and that's why. Taylor, really? Yeah, fam. And that's why Taylor has said in her Grammy speech, and I quote, uh, <laughs> I want to say to all the young women out there, there are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take a, cre- a um, credit for your accomplishments or your fame. And when she said fame, she was like, fame. <laughs> like, um, but if you just focus on the work and you don't let these people sidetrack, someday you will get to where you're going and you will... And you will it. You will it know. You will it. You will it was you. No, I should say you will know it was you, mm. and the people who love you, who put you there, and that will be the greatest feeling in the world. Thank you all for this moment. This is really weirdly formatted. <laughs> <coughs> you reckon? Yeah, because like, it stops there. Like, love you, and then who put you there? Like, what the fuck? Why is that? Why are they on different lines, and why aren't they coming after you? People can't actually people see what we're talking about. So it's for people. Maybe we we probably shouldn't keep line. on going over this, but yeah, we're using the the Genius app. Yeah, um, we'll promote them. They ain't paying us. Yeah, but no, like we're um, using some sort of app. <laughs> <laughs> basically, <laughs> but yeah, basically, what do you think of what she said? Um, well, and I'll tell you what I think. That, well, I think she's well within her right to say that. Um, yeah, because he brought it up. He brought it up first. Yeah, I think it was a really cool comeback. Um. I feel like it was a cool comeback as well. It was a very good PR move because it was. she was talking to young women. Yeah. No one can say, oh, you, why are yeah, you talking to exactly. young women that That's way and telling them that they can be successful and stuff? No one can attack her. Kanye can't come back at her. All he does right now is just look like a look like a bad guy. It should look exactly. Yeah. And so she looks like the good smart, girl. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah, she has always been. Perfect. Which is, it's always been that way. Yeah, like It's, it's that. always been him being the angry black man taken from the, the pretty little white girl. Yeah, maybe like, they did have a phone call and that was the conversation that we'll do it like this. For real? Maybe. Mm, Chris Jenner's over there. <laughs> Hell, Chris Jenner. <laughs> Plotting Chris, moves. Man. Chris Jenner is, bruv, she is, I don't know, she's just a genius, fam. She is. She is this generation's genius. But, like, I think also that, like, she, um... What point was it? She's a marketing god. No, but, like, Taylor Swift, I thought as well that... Uh, oh, fuck's what? sake. I forgot what I was going to say. Those are Doesn't matter. It, well, it does slightly. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so how long are you going to take to think of it, fam? No, We're on the it. clock. Fuck it, it's gone, isn't it? It's, We're 18 it's, minutes in. It's fucking gone. All right, let's talk about the song I Love Kanye, the one where, um... There's no beat and he's just doing the freestyle. I really like that song. It's like... It's all right. Oh, really? I, I, well, I, maybe it was good. I don't remember. I maybe it was good. I think it was good, but there was a lot of repetition. Was there a lot of repetition yeah, in that song? Yeah, he kept on saying Kanye, innit? Like, it, was, it, was, it was like... Like, what he was I think actually I maybe, saying in that song, I maybe though, expected made... the beat to come in at some point and then I realised it was just... No, it's, just like a, it's, it's just like a it's like an interlude, yeah. Yeah, and I understand the purpose of that, and I understand and, but it was what he was saying, though, vision. which was like so like this is what people actually say. It was just hilarious. Yeah, no, no. I think it. Like, I, I think it, maybe Kanye and shit. Like yeah, that. I think maybe it was good, but he didn't. He was like, "What if Kanye made a song about Kanye and called him Mister Old Kanye? Man, that would be so Kanye." I think <laughs> it didn't say the the title. No, he, he didn't. Did. Say, I love Kanye. It was like. 
I love you like Kanye loves Kanye. Well, well, he, he didn't, didn't say, say I love he Kanye. He didn't actually say the title, so I was wait I was expecting the title to come in in some sort of the chorus placement. Was, I love you. No, like no, no. Kanye yeah, 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 yeah. Kanye. yeah. That the, bro, obviously I, he's Kanye. I'm, I'm remembering. I like the song. I, love I know. Kanye. I know. Listen, I know. Two plus two plus four. I know. <laughs> but he didn't actually say, say the title. The words, like when I when I see titles, yeah, I'm expecting to hear those titles in the song. That's just songwriting one on one, isn't it? Like you you pick a title that's in the song so that is memorable and like people know it so when they're asking for the song like he does they can ask though. for that line what well, it doesn't Drake say the, well. the song yeah. name yeah they just picked like wild song names in it but it was it was it was good it was a good song name it was just unexpected i didn't expect that to happen um when i first listened to the album to be honest i didn't like waves and fade those were the two songs i didn't like waves i think i really did waves. like waves I yeah. know you love the waves. I think I already did like Because guess waves. why I didn't like waves? Chris Brown <laughs> pop sensation. No, like not was, just that, but, no, it, was, but it was a pop it was song, just, innit? It was so pop. I just felt well, like it was so it was. poppy. Yeah. I just felt like this is too Bro, when you bring Chris Brown on the track, you're like, you know no, what? But, Radio fam. But, but I guess Brown Chris Brown does. doesn't have to do that. You get what I mean? Like, he can, yeah, he nah, can he come doesn't on a song have to do that. a different vibe. But he just went for that proper, like... That proper mainstream vibe and it just made me cringe. But when I listened to it now, I was like, "Thank you, Chris." But then he, I needed some of this on this album. He added a bit of um, Kanye. Still kept it a bit gritty because he, he, he like he's never really done like a full radio song. Yeah, I think he, he usually a lot of the, the songs had a really distinct, um, different um, like parts of the song. Like, say the chorus was. Totally different, pro- differently produced. Produced by the verse, than, yeah. Than the verse, yeah. And they the sound like different beats. Else as well. yeah, 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 yeah. It was very distinct, and it was a bit jarring. But I understand the, the creativity but, behind it and whatnot, it work, and I appreciate. It. Yeah, I yeah. do. I did appreciate in some songs. When some songs I didn't like it, but um, yeah, it was it was interesting. Um, uh, he said something about Ray J still as well. well I think that was. Yeah, he one. said how we both love the same bitch or something. Yeah, and he said the only difference is I'm rich. <laughs> Um, I think that was a very silly line. I I, I don't understand him I calling like Kim was, K a bitch. I um, felt like that line was silly as well. When I first heard that line, I was like, "If you're gonna diss Ray J, diss him properly. Like, why are you giving him, giving us such like yeah. a dead diss?" But you then, could have said we love the same woman or chick or something. Oh, like, is that I, what really annoyed you? Because he I, called Kim bitch. It just seems so. It seems wrong. It's his wife. She's cool with it though. Yeah, I understand that, but. That's that's what makes me realize that it's all just songwriting and and just performance. Like it's not really him like being him, like talking about his real life and stuff. It's all just a character, basically. Mm. So if you accept it for that, then fair enough. But um, it was it was kind of a weak line, especially the "I'm rich" or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's I extremely feel like that was weak. weak. That's extremely weak. And then um, you're saying that you're in debt after as well on Twitter. And yeah, I, I felt like that and was he did. Weak. I swear he said something about personal debt in one of the songs. I don't yeah, remember yeah. which one, but he said something about it. I'm not sure if he said he's in personal debt or something. But he nah, did. And tweet we all know that you're rich in Ray J, but it still doesn't beat the fact that he hit first and's got a video out of it. I feel like if you're gonna talk to Ray J, you need to talk to Ray J because man's got yeah, a video hey. smashing your wife man, yeah. and your baby. Wrong. But like, you should forget but, about Ray J, man. Yeah, you should Ray either forget the cards, about it. Exactly. Ray J's got the cards. You should either forget about it or really hit him. He's hard. got a full house, fam. You ain't you ain't fucking Ray J, fam. But like, he's he, got a sex tape with your missus. Exactly, fam. it's, it's mad. But she's Ebro, sucking his dick on camera, fam. It's dead. <laughs> Everyone's seen it. It's dead, fam. But Ebro said how um when he because he listened to the album early and he, on the radio he said that he felt like the way Kanye done the line though it was in a jokey way, and, and it it was kind of like kind of like hilarious so mm, but it wasn't that funny because you just said I'm rich and that was like really weak if you said something else it would have probably been better but just saying I'm rich isn't really creative or funny to be honest <laughs> but um yeah I like every song in this album though uh I really like Real Friends. It's a really good song. Yeah, that is a really good song. Uh, um, Dollar when I listened to it the relatable. first time, I thought it was good. But then when, but then I, when I listened, listened to it on the album, album it just... I don't know if it's longer or there's more. It just it's just really, really, it's not really good. I, just, it's, I feel like when it where it comes in, probably I'm just like I feel like like kind of maybe he put the out album. the best tracks. No, 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 no. Because Waves is quite good. He put, but some of the tracks I didn't feel. And then when. Um, Real Friends came back around. I was like, yes, I know Kanye can make great songs. This is a great song. Um, like, it was just, yeah, it was amazing, man. It is, man. Like, him and Ty Dolla Sign done really well on that. And it was very simple as well. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just a nice beat. And then him and Ty Dolla kind of going back to He back was to saying back. some things on like, that. Because this is what I'm saying. Things, yeah, yeah. He, this, is, this is what 
I, w- I like from music when they actually say things that actually make you feel and Think you can relate and to relate, and, you're, yeah. and you're thinking about this. Like when Kanye does that on his tracks, I'm like, yeah, that's that's cool. But when he's just like just being braggadocious or whatever, or like you've got a whole gospel track or a whole gospel interlude, yeah. Not oh, feeling that, that was so fam. powerful. Not I feeling that. that. That interlude, I was like, come on, fam. That woman was just speaking to me. Just come on, fam. <laughs> Allow it. But, I loved it. Yeah, so I'm, I, I don't know. What If you gave it a rating out of 10, would you give it 10 out of 10? Oh, come on, of course. Seriously? You say yeah. it's a perfect album? Yeah. Oi, what do you think is better, that album or Kendrick's album? That. Okay. Fair enough. But um, yeah, that's it. I wanted to quickly go over the list though. All right. But oh yeah, but you're not really deep on Kanye albums. But I would say what my list is right now as it stands, I still think Twisted Fantasy Your is list of best. what? You have to tell them. Kanye albums, isn't it? Okay. I feel like my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is still his best. Mm. I'm talking about his solo albums. I'm not including any like Watch the Throne or Cruel Summer. But like, yeah, I feel like that's still his best. And I feel like this might be second still. It's this old College Dropout, which is his first album. Okay. And then, and then, uh, then it's like graduation, but then there's 808s. This is the thing with Kanye, what, which is crazy. Like all of his albums, like especially after the first three, are just so different. Mm. Like he went to 808s and Heartbreak. That was like a whole different sound. Then did he do my Then he done My Beautiful, beautiful. Darts of Fantasy. Then he which, done Then he done Yeezus. Which, yeah. And then now this. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Ebro seems to describe this album as like a taking the best of all of his works. Kind of. Do you feel that way? I don't know. I feel like you heard a bit of like, oh, that sounds like old Kanye, or that sounds like new yeah. Kanye, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he was trying to say in the freestyle, that. Like. Yeah. Wait, what was that song that he put out um, before the album that we thought was going to be on the album? All day, which should have been on the album. I didn't Fan. listen. I specifically Fan. didn't listen to the song when he released it as Fan. a single to wait to listen to it on the Fan. album. Why and I know it was a great album. song. Oh my! I need to go listen to it. Why is Deprived all day myself not on the album? of this song for so long, <laughs> and he didn't even put an album. I'm so upset about that. He even only one, which was it was an okay song. Nah, that didn't need to one. be on the album. Okay, but all day should have been on the album. All day definitely. Um, Definitely should have been on the album. But yeah, I think we're at 26 minutes now, so we should probably wrap this okay. review up. I, I think it was an all right album. Yeah, I love um, you, Kanye. Probably give it a 7 out of 10 or something. You um, are my hero. But I didn't give it a full listen. Michael says it's great, but he's he's super biased. I love you, Kanye. I can talk about you for another 20 minutes. Like, you <laughs> stopping me. All right, so let's get on to the next topic. Yo, thanks for listening, guys. If you want to check out the full podcast, you can click on the SoundCloud link in the description or you can search for J. Carter Ray or talk about it in the podcast section of the iTunes store and you can find us there. Don't forget to like, rate and subscribe. It really helps us out and we'll see you next time. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you